Today, we are going to find out what would happen if every single NFL team made the playoffs. So this is what the AFC bracket is looking like. And as you can see, number one seed Kansas City Chiefs matched up with the worst team in the AFC, the Houston Texans. And the same thing goes with the NFC bracket too. So the first matchup in these NFL playoffs is going to be the Chiefs versus the Texans. And look at the overall differences. This one might be a flood. So this game was a little bit closer than I thought it would be. But oh, what a catch, by the way. Jeez. Unfortunately for the Texans, it's too little too late as the Chiefs win 27-17. Next, we have an old school AFC matchup, Patriots versus the Steelers. The winner getting an opportunity at that number one C Chiefs. And we're jumping in here at a pretty good time. Patriots down seven. What a laser from Mac Jones to tie the game. Wow. The Steelers do have a chance here though. 30 seconds. They have all their timeouts. That's a big first down. They need what, like 20, 25 yards here to get into Chris Boswell's range. A bomb from Kenny Pickett. Oh, so they want to get to the 41. Okay. The Steelers got a chance here. They got to get like 22-ish more yards. Oh, oh my God. What a catch by George Pickens to get the Steelers into field goal range. This is crazy. And it all comes down to this. The Patriots did ice him. Let's see if he still got the ice in his veins to drill it to win the game. And they win the game. Wow. I hope some of the other games are like that. Steelers, W. Next, I'm going to have the two seed Bills play the Indianapolis Colts. I thought the first game was going to be a flood. It was a little bit closer, but I'm expecting this one to be a flood. This did not go the way I thought it was going to go. Look at this score. 31-23. They're driving. Oh, are they going to tie it here? Okay, they're down at the four. Are the Colts going to tie here before the end of regulation? I guess to be fair, the Colts did beat the Chiefs earlier in the year. Here we go, guys. First and goal. And it's a touchdown for the Colts. Wow. Wow. I'm pretty sure the Bills are up by like three scores during this sim, by the way. Like, this is a big comeback for the Colts. They have to get the two-pointer, though. Are the Colts going to clutch this up here? And, oh, and that's the game. Wow. I'll give it to the Colts. They made it close, but the Bills move on. Up next, we have the 7C Dolphins versus the Jets. And, yeah, this game actually wasn't that close. Uh, the Jets got a touchdown at the end of the game, but it was garbage time. So, yeah, Dolphins. The final score doesn't indicate it, but it was pretty much a blowout. Another potential potential blowout game number three seed Bengals versus the Broncos I'm thinking this one's gonna be another blowout oh boy was I wrong about this game being a blowout it is 35 34 Broncos the Bengals have a possession here oh that's not a good play though not sure why they were dumping off but they gotta get into field goal range Ugh, I don't like this dump off game that they're running this bad <laughs> feels like the Bengals have zero sense of urgency here dump off I mean at least it's a first down this time they are trying to save that final timeout for the kicker but you got to move it down field a little bit faster Oh, it's going to get picked by PS2. Patrick Sertan ends the game, and we get our first major upset of the playoffs. I can't believe I'm submitting this score right now. Wow, I thought for sure the Bengals were winning this. I know we're not going to get this matchup in the playoffs this year, but it just seems like it's always destined to be Ravens-Titans, isn't it? The winner of this game faces the Broncos. Crazy. This game has been back and forth, but the Titans have a chance to win the game here 24-24. The Ravens just tied it up, too. The Titans are dangerously close to getting into field goal range. Oh, that's a big catch. They have to be close to field goal range here, right? Like, maybe five yards they need. Ryan Tannehill is trying to run it. Sorry, not Ryan Tannehill. It's Josh Dobbs. I kind of forgot that he was playing quarterback. I'm pretty sure Lamar's starting for the Ravens in this game, but this kick... For the win here, and it's, wow, it is not even close. So we're going to get our first overtime game of the playoffs. The Titans do get the ball to start off overtime. Oh, Patrick Queen comes in screaming to get the sack. What a start for the defense, but Derrick Henry gets a lot of the used yards back. Can the Ravens defense get off the field here? And it's a catch, but it's way out of bounds. Yeah, we have Lamar out here, so I'm actually confused as to why Josh Dobbs is starting for the Titans and not Ryan Tannehill, but whatever. It doesn't really matter. Can Lamar and the Ravens do it? Lamar keeps it himself, getting a lot of yards here. We got to get some better blocking, though. All right, can the Ravens finish this drive off? Just keep running the ball. It's working. It looks like they're in Justin Tucker range. Oh, I don't know about throwing the ball. Why were you throwing the ball here? Makes no sense. What are you doing, man? Run the ball. And no hesitation from the Titans. They're taking the field goal. Is Fat Randy going to drill it this time? 
and I think he did. I really can't believe that the Ravens threw the ball when they were one yard away from field goal range. Like, that's insane. This isn't even a real game that I'm upset at Greg Roman. It's Greg Roman's fault. But up next, we got the Jags and the Raiders. Okay, so I ended up sending the entire game. The Jags were up by two touchdowns. The Raiders scored, and then the Jags ended up killing the clock. So, yeah, nothing crazy here. The final first round game for the AFC side, Chargers versus Browns. And the Browns are actually the higher overall here. Ooh. The Browns just could not keep this game close. They have to get a stop here to even have a chance, but it's a two touchdown game and yeah, that first round is going to end things here. So after the first round, this is what the AFC side of the bracket's looking like. But now it's time to see what's going on with the NFC. The biggest mismatch of the entire playoffs is the Bears with the worst record and the Eagles with the best record in the league. But we have seen some crazy things already happen, so who knows? The Bears definitely were fighting in this game, but yeah, not close at all. It's time for the 2C 49ers to play the 15C Cardinals, and it's a divisional matchup, guys. And look at the score, guys. I actually thought Jimmy G was going to be quarterbacking, but Brock Purdy is in here. Can he lead the Niners to a victory here? Oh, I thought that was going to get picked. <laughs> so now it is, uh, is that Colt McCoy? I actually don't know who's playing quarterback here for the Cardinals. I just used the updated rosters, by the way. So yeah, it, it's, I guess, as the team is, right? Since Kyler's out for the year. The Cardinals are going to need like a big, big play here. Otherwise, we're going to overtime, I think. Dump off. It is going to be a first down, maybe? No. Yeah, it is. The Cardinals have one timeout. And they're just like, nah, let's go to overtime. 49ers get the ball first. Hand off to Christian McCaffrey. And that is a big run to start off over time i think i just now thought about it and uh i don't think i have playoff over time we'll say it's a fumble christian mccaffrey fumbles are the cardinals gonna pull this off guys it looks like the cardinals only need what like eight yards seven yards to get into field goal range and the field goal is gonna win the game for them Gotta get more yards than that, though. I'm still, like, in shock over that Christian McCaffrey fumble. But the Niners' defense is fighting here. It might come down to this play. Six yards, maybe even less, I guess. Dump it off. First down. Oh, this game's over, I think. Are the Cardinals being serious here? They're going five wide? What? Did they not learn from the Ravens? Oh, this might be holding. Oh, man. It is roughing the passer instead. Okay, so they're going to be in field goal range for sure. I swear the Cardinals are being unserious right now. Like, what is this, dude? <laughs> Oh, that's dangerous. Yeah, I guess they're just going to keep trying to run it in. It's a read option. Colt McCoy scores to win the game. Massive, massive upset. Hey, this is what this video is all about, right? We want to see these upsets. I want to see who the Cardinals are going to face next. So Packers versus the Seahawks. Ooh. Hey, Green Bay, your kryptonite, the 49ers, just lost. So this is your chance. And yeah, guys, this game was an absolute blowout. The Green Bay Packers get the job done. Unlike on Sunday night. Haven't done the matchup to see who faces the Eagles. So yeah, this is it right here. Commanders, Lions. And here we go, guys. The Lions have the ball under two minutes, down by a touchdown. Can they tie this game up? Can they clutch up a throwaway? Obviously, we're in four down territory, but let's see if they can convert this year. Screen, they're going to get that first down and a lot more yards. Plenty of time to work with still for the Lions. Three timeouts, a lot of time. That's a dangerous ball, though. Lions have a lot of time left here, so, you know, no dangerous throws necessary. First down ball, too. Big situation here. The Lions are moving about a minute left, down a touchdown, and Jared Goff is launching it up. Jeez. I think Jared Goff's getting a little bit lucky right now. He keeps launching. He's going to do it again here, too. Third and 10. To the end zone. Ooh. Again, they don't have to take end zone shots yet. All you need is a first down here, and he's launching one up again. He might have him here. Wow, that was so close. The commanders need to get a first down here. It is third and one. What are the Lions going to do? They're going to fold. It's a first down. The game is now officially over. Commanders move on. Up next, we have the three-seed Vikings versus the Rams. Will the Rams pull off a major, major upset? And yeah, guys, it's a blowout. If the Giants beat the Panthers here, we're going to get the matchup that's actually happened in wildcard weekend. Giants-Vikings, but Giants got to win this game first. We jumped in at the perfect time here. 22 seconds on the Panthers. Need a touchdown to tie it up. I don't like that dump off, and it's a fumble! The Giants win the game! What is going on with these fumbles, though? Jeez. Two more games left in the first round. Let's see if anything crazy happens in the last two games. And yeah, easy game for Tom Brady. It was really never in doubt. Let's move on to the next one. And here we are, the final matchup of the first round. Who's going to win this one to face the GOAT? And it might all come down to this player right here. Fourth and five. I mean, kind of... Just got to get the first down, right? Big catch, first down, but got to get it moving. They still got to get into Will Lutz range here. This might be the final play they're going to get before field goal range. 
And I don't know why they're throwing it across the middle. That's stupid. All right, here we go. Final play. He's going to launch it up here. Or no. No, that is not the throw, dude. Let me tell you, the CPU, they make some interesting decisions. <laughs> and that completes the NFC's first round. We had some blowouts. We had some upsets. Are we going to see more upsets, though? Let's find out. And for the first matchup, we have the one seed Chiefs versus the eight seed Steelers. I think there's actually discussions about an 18 playoff, too. So this matchup actually could have happened. I don't know about you guys, but I'm a little surprised about the score. Like, a little bit lower score than I would have thought. And wow, what a stop. They are in field goal range already, though. Hey, like I said earlier, We've seen some funky things from the CPU, but they're just going to run it. No fumbles this time. Lined up for the field goal, and it's looking good. I think he got it. Yep. And the Kansas City Chiefs survive. This matchup we're actually going to see this weekend, so potential spoilers? We'll find out. Okay, well, the Chargers get the ball first in overtime, so are they going to clutch up and get this W? What a catch! Is that Josh Palmer? Wow! Now, I believe that touchdown ends the game. I don't think it has playoff overtime rules implemented we're gonna find out though right because keaton out wow what a breakup let's see if the chargers can score a touchdown here or at least get a first down right they're going for the first down and they're gonna be just short this is what i love to see the chargers are going for it. they're running it in oh that's so close did they get it they did not get the first down things might work out for the chargers still though it's third and five if they can get the stop here which it looks like they're gonna. Yeah, that's a bad screen. They're gonna have to punt this ball. All right, Chargers are in a third down here. Third and three run. Oh, wow. What a huge run for Austin Eckler. That might be field goal range too. I say you still run the ball here because you're in the field goal range. And look at that. Oh, that might be a first down. No, fourth and one. This is a big spot for the rookie kicker. Dicker, the kicker. Does he drill it? I think he did. And the Chargers move on. Speaking of matchups that's actually happening this weekend, this is another one here. So let's see what happens. So, um, yeah, you guys are going to be shocked by this score. Look at 42 to 13 Dolphins. Buffalo Bills. What happened? And to end off this round for the AFC, the battle of the upsets. And would you guys look at that? The 14 seed Broncos blows out the titans that's not a close score so in the afc conference semifinals, we have three playoff teams and the denver broncos unbelievable let's hop on back over to the nfc side and we got the one seed versus the commanders look at the score at halftime what is going on 24 to nothing i can't believe what i'm seeing 31 to 3 the eagles only put up three points that is insane. Okay, one seed goes down. Left hand up. Who are we? The Commanders. Am I right? Another matchup we're going to see this weekend. Let's see who faces the Commanders in the next round. At one point, this game was 16-3, to but Tom Brady and the Bucks have tried to come back here, and they have a chance to win the game. Touchdown is going to win them the game pretty much, depending on the time left, but pretty much going to win in the game. Let's see what happens. It's a first down right there. There we go. If there's any quarterback I trust on a game-winning drive, it's Tom Brady. He's throwing it for another first down. Tampa Bay has zero timeouts now, though, so he can't really throw it across the middle. He's going for the end zone. He's open. Mike Evans is not in bounds. Wow. More end zone shots incoming here. Got to get rid of it. Going towards the end zone. Again, same play. Mike Evans catches it this time. He just absolutely moss that guy. That should be the game. Are the Cowboys going to pull off a miracle here. Dak Prescott is launching it up. I mean, it's not going to be anywhere close to the end zone. There is a... I thought he caught that for one, but there is a flag here, guys. There is a flag. Oh, my God. It's defensive pass interference. Oh, man. They have another play. They can kick a field goal. Gotta drill this, though. Gotta drill this field goal. He can absolutely miss here. I think he's got it, though. Wow. Okay, so the Buccaneers have the ball first. They punt, and look at this punt, man. On the screen, it says 72-yard punt, which I'm sure it bounced and all that, but look at this run from Zeke. He might be gone. Ezekiel Elliott, touchdown, will end the game here since the Bucs already had a possession. Zeke had that big run, but the offense is starting to stall a little bit here. Third and 10, got to convert this. What you got for me, Dak? He's open in the middle of the field. Is that CD? No, that's not CD. I don't even know who that is. All I saw was the eight and the dreads, but it was Noah Brown. So, I mean, they're in field goal range already. They should just kick it. But they're trying to get more yards. They're just trying to score anything, I guess. Well, Cowboys are going for a touchdown here. CD. CD's trying to punch it in. And it's a touchdown. The game is over. I know this is just a video game, but that might be the biggest choke I've ever seen. I can't believe that pass interference. I might need a breather after that last game. But we got another matchup that we're actually going to see this weekend. So... Let's see who wins. So this game was 21 to 7 Giants going into the fourth quarter. The Vikings have made a little bit of a comeback, but they have to stop him here or else the game is over. Even if the Vikings get a stop here, though, they're going to have the ball with such little time and no timeouts. They get the stop, though, guys. Okay, I didn't realize the Giants were in field goal range here, so they're going for a field goal. 
Also, wow. I guess I don't know how to count the clock anyways, because I that was way less time than I thought they were gonna get. But yeah, the Giants win 28-21. That's actually my pick for this weekend, too. Another battle of the upsets. The Packers getting a home playoff game versus the 15 c Cardinals. And unfortunately, the Cinderella story ends here. But we still got the Broncos. And that is the end of our wild card round. And for the NFC side, we got two teams that are not in the playoffs, IRL. But now we got the conference semifinals. First matchup in the AFC, number one. One seed Kansas City Chiefs, number five seed LA Chargers. Who moves on to the conference finals? And like we saw with them against the Jaguars, the Chargers are on a drive to win the game here. All they need is a field goal once again. That is a what a beauty of a throw from Justin Herbert to the sideline. Josh Palmer again, by the way. Josh Palmer made the sick catch in the last game, too. So I thought the Chiefs were going to call a timeout earlier, but they decided to ice the kicker instead. So Dicker, the kicker, can he clutch up once again for the Chargers here? Let's see if that's good. And that is good. And the Chargers move on to the AFC Championship game. So who is going to face the Chargers in the AFC Championship game? Is it going to be the Dolphins or somehow the Broncos? This game is tied at half. Oh, boy. So the Dolphins just hit a field goal to take the lead, but the Broncos have the ball here. Oh, that's not a great decision, though. You got to hurry this up. Yeah, this is going to be the final play of the game here. Russ has to launch this up. What? What are you doing? What? I don't even know what to say. Hey, at least we got a realistic matchup for the AFC Championship game, right? Because both of these teams are in the playoffs currently. So Dolphins, Chargers, 5 seed versus the 7 seed. Let's see who's going to the Super Bowl from the AFC. Guys, I am absolutely shocked. 38 to 3. Blowout. Absolute blowout. The Chargers go on to the Super Bowl. And so that is how the AFC bracket turned out. Let's finish up the NFC to see what our Super Bowl matchup is going to be. The highest seed left in the NFC is the five seed Cowboys here, and they're facing the nine seed Commanders. Who's moving on to the NFC Championship? This has been a back and forth game. It's a big third down here. They got to convert this. Dump it off. Got it. Oh, big yards here. Wow. At the 29, like 28, 29 ish. Obviously, they're going to throw them. Although, two timeouts. They don't have to, I guess. That's so scary. And they picked it. Trayvon Diggs picks it off after it bounced off of, what, two people? And that's the game. The Cowboys move on. Let's see who's going to face the Cowboys in the NFC Championship game. Can the 10 seed Packers stay alive versus the Giants? Yeah, the Packers dropped 41 points on the Giants, and it was not close at all. What an insane game from Aaron Rodgers. Jeez, no wonder why they keep winning. Be honest in the comments. Did anyone see this matchup coming for the NFC Championship 10th seed Packers. I mean, they're a Cinderella story too, right? But let's be real, guys. During the sim, the Cowboys have been the team of destiny. I mean, that Bucks game, I still can't believe. Let's see how this game goes. Ladies and gentlemen, the Packers have the lead with about a minute left. Cowboys have three timeouts. Packers are just trying to kill the clock. They got to get a first down. I actually can't believe the Packers are about to do this too. And it's over. It's over. The Packers are going to the Super Bowl. That's crazy. So this is how the NFC bracket ended up looking like. And yeah, Packers, 10 C Packers winning it crazy these sims have been crazy today so i don't even know what to expect here gotta get that super bowl presentation going this is actually my first time seeing this because i don't really play too much franchise or like play now or anything like that if you guys want to see more videos like that though let me know is aaron Rodgers gonna ride off into the sunset with the super bowl w or is justin herbert getting his first ring let's find out i'm gonna just bring you guys right into this i'm gonna sim the first quarter and after the first quarter the packers score okay tie game first quarter let's see what happens in quarter number two as the Packers get a field goal the Chargers were on a drive but just oh maybe it was a punt is what I saw the Packers score again third quarter a lot of nothing going on a lot of not scoring going on and no one scored in the third quarter okay starting off the fourth quarter though the Packers did score a touchdown I didn't think it was gonna jump in like that can the Chargers answer on this drive and they do wow that was quick can the Packers build on this lead though on this next drive Let's see. No, they don't. They got all the way to midfield and a touchback punt. Okay, this could be huge for the Chargers here. Let's see it. Come on, tie the game up for me. Oh, and they tied the game up. Wow. Under 50 seconds left. All you need is a field goal to win it. That is a huge first down to Christian Watson. I swear the CPU is just dumb in this game. Like, so much clock went off. Oh, my God. What a throw. What a catch. What a run. First down. They're in field goal range. It is not over yet, though. Anyone could fumble at any time. That's a good run, though. I wonder if the CPU for the Chargers is going to do the same thing that the Chiefs did and just not call any timeouts and just try to ice the guy. Flag. Face mask. Oh, no. It's a holding. That might take 
take him out of field goal range. Packers got to get some yards back here. No more holding. Oh no, they lost a yard. And it looks like this video is going to come down to a game winning field goal potentially from Mason Crosby. I don't even know if he has a leg for this, but we're going to find out here. It's short. Way, and way to the right yikes we got free football in the super bowl the Chargers are already on a third down here can they convert this he's open in the flat dash that was almost pick six wow Packers get another chance to win the game and wow stuffed you got one of the best quarterbacks of our generation let him throw the ball oh okay that was actually a really good run never mind here we go third and one easy conversion for Aaron Rodgers gotta keep it moving here the run game's been working out pretty well oh Aaron Jones you gotta just run through that guy the thing is i don't know how far they want to actually get first down though like we've already seen mason crosby miss one game winner so let's see oh what a dot from aaron Rodgers! wow chargers gotta go for the ball here though because they are in range oh that's a big loss of yards more the chargers could back him up the better right like mason crosby already saw him miss like i said what is that decision that is crazy from aaron Rodgers. the chargers ice him again can mason crosby drill it this time though and i think it's right down the middle the packers unbelievable i cannot believe that the packers just won this super bowl this is just crazy this is just insane like i did not expect this i was hopeful for this going into the video but i was not expecting it to happen so uh yeah packers win the super bowl i had a lot of fun recording this video hopefully you guys enjoyed watching it like comment subscribe if you guys did comment down below some other video ideas you guys want me to do youtube recommends that you watch this video next and i'll see you in the next one peace